First, I will create a new project with no activity. I will make sure language is Java. So, first, we will create main activity and then a recycler view adapter and a child item. So new, activity, empty views activity. Main activity and select launch activity. Make sure language is Java. Click on finish. In activity underscore main dot XML, we will create a recycler view. So, I will drag and drop it here. Width will be match parent and height will be wrap content. ID, recycler view. Now, I will remove absolute X and Y and I will add constraints related to position. You can watch that video by clicking in the I button. Top to top of, bottom to bottom of, left to left of, and right to right of, I will set all these constraints to parent. Now, we will create a new layout resource file, which will be used as the recycler views child item. New layout resource file. I will name it child item. Here, I will replace constraint layout with card view and create couple of text views to display text. Card view height, wrap content, and margin 10. I will make the card view corners rounded. So card corner radius 50. Text view, height and width, wrap content. And ID, TV underscore serial number. Margin left, 20. Margin top, 20. Margin bottom, 20. Text, 1. I will copy and paste this text view again. This time ID TV underscore name. Margin left 100. Text this is name 1. So here I will set text style, text size, color and font for both the text views. I will set two different colors. I will copy the text color code which I have used for second text view. Now, go back to activity underscore main dot XML. For constraint layout, I will set background and paste the color code. Now, for recycler view, list item, child item. Now go to main activity and create reference for this recycler view. Recycler view, recycler view. Recycler view equals Find view by id r.id. Recycler view. Now we will create two array lists, one to display serial number and other to display text. Array list string array list SNO equals new array list. Array list string array list names equals new array list. Now, I will simply use a for loop from numbers 1 to 20 and add those numbers to array lists. 
4, int i, equals 1, i less than equal to 20, i plus plus. Array list sno dot add string dot value of i. Array list names dot add this is name plus i. I will change the value for array list sno as well. Now we have the data and we have the list item. We need to create a recycle view adapter and then set it to the recycle view. So new Java class. I will name it RV Adapter. Now, we need to display data in Recycle View, and for that purpose, we have created a child item layout. So each item of the Recycle View is wrapped in a view holder. This adapter needs to extend the view holder and we need to perform actions to that view holder. So first, we need to create a view holder. Public class, view holder extends, Recycle View dot, view holder. Now in our child item, we have two text views, and we will create references for those two text views inside the view holder. Text view, TV SNO, TV name. TV SNO equals item view dot, find view by ID, r dot ID dot TV SNO. TV name equals item view dot, find view by ID, r dot ID dot TV name. So here, item view is the object for the view inside view holder. Now, the adapter needs to extend this view holder. Extends, recycler view dot, adapter, rv adapter dot view holder. And then, implement all the methods. That is, on create view holder, on bind view holder, get item count. Now, we have data in two array lists. So, we will create those two array lists in the adapter as well. After that, we will create a constructor. Public RV adapter, array list string, array list SNO, array list string, array list names. This dot, array list SNO equals array list SNO. This dot, array list names equals array list names. In get item count, if return value is zero, there will be zero items in recycle view. So return array list names dot size. We have 20 items in array list, so recycle view will have 20 items. Now, in on create view holder, we need to set the child item to our recycle view. So view item equals layout inflated dot from parent dot get context dot inflate at dot layout dot child item and root will be parent. I will also set the test to root as false. Return new view holder item. Now we need to set data that will be done in on bind view holder. Holder dot tv sno dot set text array list sno dot get position. Holder dot TV names dot set text array list names dot get position. Here, holder is the object for the current view holder and position is the position or index of the current view holder in the recycler view. Now in main activity, I will create object for this adapter and set data to it. RV adapter, adapter. Adapter equals new RV adapter, array list SNO, array list names. Now, we need to set the layout type as well. It can be either linear layout or grid layout or staggered grid layout. Linear layout manager layout manager equals new linear layout manager, so the orientation will be either horizontal or vertical. Context this, orientation vertical, reverse layout false. I will show later what happens when it is set to true. Now, we need to set both the adapter and layout manager to recycle view. Set layout manager, layout manager. Set adapter, adapter. Since we are creating data after setting the adapter, we need to notify the adapter regarding the data update. So inside for loop, after adding data to both the array lists, we will use 
adapter dot notify dataset changed. Here, you can see all 20 items. But as you can see, at the top, the first item is below the action bar. So open activity underscore main dot XML. For recycler view, add padding top attribute action bar size. And padding bottom 30. Padding bottom is not really necessary, but I am adding it. Now, I will set reverse layout to true. I will set it back to false. Now, I will set on click listener to recycle view items. So open AV adapter and inside the view holder superclass item view dot set on click listener. We will display name in toast. Toast. Context will be item view dot get context. Array list names dot get get adapter position. 